So this is a quick video. It wasn't planned to publish it outside of my Facebook group. I did this in my Facebook group and they just seem to like it. This is um, what was viral about four years ago when we first started COVID. So when I first started crafting, this is one of the things that I saw when I first started crafting. And I want to show you how to do it. Now, only thing I need you to do for me is hit the like, um, leave a comment, tell me it's cute, or tell me you don't like it or something. Please interact with this video. Thank you. I get a lot of views, but not a lot of interaction. Now, I do quick videos like this a lot on TikTok, Facebook, Reels, Instagram, and stuff like that. The things I do are simple. They are beginner levels. And this is an example of one. Y'all, check this out. This is that viral teacup, coffee cup from about four years ago. Tell me how you like it. Okay, let's make the viral teacup and if it's not viral it's about to be because it used to be i saw this about four years ago when we were first getting into covid so what you're going to need is a wire trash um basket from the dollar tree garden hooks from the dollar tree you see that that's the label a saucer from the dollar tree and this sauce is the rounded saucer, okay? It looks better, believe me when I say that, okay? First thing we're going to do is we're going to form our teacup. This is a quick craft. Right here on this Dollar Tree basket, you have a small space where it starts to really curve in and that's where we're going to start the form and we're just going to push in and we're going to turn and push turn and push turn and push okay once we get it in we go to form this is a very pliable forgiving basket so if you mess it up like i did you can fix it this is about what you want it to look like. You almost finished. Then you're going to take your handle, which is your metal hook from the Dollar Tree um, plant section, garden section, I'm sorry. And then you're going to find the spot where you want to put your handle at, okay? You're going to find the spot where you want to put your handle at. You want one of the smaller upper ones. So you don't want to get one that's really large. I wouldn't get that. One of the smallest ones that it can fit into, that's what I go for. One of the smallest ones at the top that it can fit into, okay? You don't want to get the wide one because it'll be too loose. So one of the smallest ones at the very top, you're going to take it, take your handle, hook sideways, put it in there. Once you get it in there, you're going to just turn it to the side. And you got your teacup, okay? Now, this won't move unless somebody move it. I did put a zip strip at the bottom, a zip tie at the bottom and a zip tie at the top. And once you're finished, you're going to add it to the bottom of your saucer. Now, I put mine over. You can do it like that, but it kind of interferes with the handle. I put mine over. Take your tag off, clean it. Glue it on. You're going to use permanent glue. I'm not going to glue mine on because I am going to take them outside. It's nighttime, by the way. So I will take them outside and I will spray paint them. Um, but you're going to take off the label, glue it down, and your teapot is complete. And then you're going to style it, decorate it whatever way you want. I got all Dollar Tree stuff in here, some Dollar Tree coffee some creamer, a little mug cake, um, the chocolate, and some eggs. This is a Dollar Tree ribbon. They have these pretty packs of ribbon right here, so I put the ribbon through there. Fabric swatches. You can also, they got some pretty um, spring color tool. You would build this up as high as you need it to go with your stuff. If you have a little stuff, big, build it up high. If you don't have a lot, and then if you have a lot, you don't have to build it up. But yes, that is your teacup. Let me know what you think about it.